What's up Guardians, Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Recently I've gotten a lot of requests to put out a guide to get the Izanagi's Burden and that's what we're going to be going over today. Now I know the Izanagi's Burden has been out for quite a while. It was introduced during the Black Armory in Season of the Forge and now that Shadowkeep is here along with Garden of Salvation Raid, it seems as though the Izanagi's Burden has found a perfect fit in Destiny 2. So let's go ahead and jump into all of the nitty gritty details on how you can get the Izagnagi's Burden. Now I'm going to go ahead and just tell everybody this is not an easy quest. It's going to take you a good chunk of time. You're going to have to grind a good amount to get this one, but I'm going to make it as simple as I can for you guys. That way you can get it quickly and easily. So the first thing you're going to need to do is visit the tower and go over to Ada 1. She's going to provide you with a quest called Lock and Key. Now this is going to require you to discover four keys to open Open up this mysterious box. You're going to need the butterfly lock, the hand lock, fish lock, or the fish hook lock, and the black armor lock. You'll be able to obtain these keys by completing all four of the forges in Destiny 2, but keep in mind that each of them are on rotations, so it's a daily rotation for each of the forges. Once you've queued up a forge and you've gotten yourself loaded up, you're going to have to wait until between round one and two. During this time frame, you have a small window of opportunity to take down two drones that will be located on the map. I'm going to show in the video all four locations. By destroying these drones, it will give you a buff in the bottom left corner of your screen that will say maximum temper. Now this will apply to all three guardians in your fire team. And at this point, all you have to do is complete that forge. Once doing so, you will have an additional chest that will spawn and it will provide you with the key for that forge. By the time that you've gotten your fourth and final forge pleaded and you've collected your keys, 801 will also have provided you with what's called a black armory mole. This will require you to visit the Leviathan raid and you're going to need to visit the underbelly of the Leviathan because you need to destroy 24 watchers that are in the underbelly of Leviathan. These are easily done in a solo means. You can access the underbelly by just dropping down on the bottom side of the bridge when you first get to the Leviathan. You will have to use the consoles and enter in the code 153246. Sick. Now you have to do this very quickly and the numbers correspond to the actual console itself. So the number one is the first console to the far left. Once you found your way to one of the rooms with the watchers, there's usually about four to six watchers in each room and you have to be quick to defeat them before they put up their unbreakable shields. But once you've cleared the room and destroyed those watchers, you'll be able to collect the lens and then you can simply just back out of the room so the doors will close and respawn those watchers. Just simply repeat the process until you've gotten all 24. And now you're going to have to collect 200 glimmering amethysts. These can be found from looting any chest throughout the globe of destiny. You do get more percentage on strike chests and heroic public event chests. At this point you can open the mysterious box because it's going to lead you to the next step of the quest which requires you to collect an obsidian crystal. And and this obsidian crystal can only be acquired by getting and completing a rare black armory bounty. Now this is a blue bounty and it only drops on a very rare chance and when I say rare I mean rare but you get this by completing the normal bounties that Ada has. Those are going to be the top row of bounties. This is the part that most of you will probably get stuck on because you have to get that rare bounty on that specific character and it just is an extreme extremely low drop rate. I'm really hoping that maybe with the upcoming patch that Bungie has that they'll increase the drop rate of these rare bounties. But once you get the rare bounty and complete it, you will now have that obsidian crystal. For the next step of the quest, you're going to be heading to the Shattered Throne, which is now available all of the time, and you're going to have to collect an ascendant glass shard by completing the Shattered Throne. Once you've done this, you're now going to have to collect radiant phase glass. You're going to get this by completing the Permidian Strike. It should be a special strike with some special modifiers, but once you've completed that, the next step is going to have you return to the Berguzia Forge, and in this forge you're going to have to defeat Civics, the Fallen Troll, and he will drop an 
item called not a weapon. You're going to take this item and return it to Ada 1. And at this point, you're going to take all of the molds and the items and craft the Izignagi's Burden. And there you have it. Now you've got the sniper, but we're not quite done yet because it's not quite the Izignagi's Burden until you get the catalyst for it because that is really what makes a difference with this sniper rifle. Catalyst provides you with the ability to get increased damage on your honed edge. Honed edge is when you hold square, it combines all four of your shots into one massive damage bullet. And with the catalyst, you're going to be able to get an increased amount of damage. In order to get the catalyst, of course, you have to have the Izignagi's Burden, but you also have to have a fully masterworked Chalice of Opulence. This was available during Season of Opulence, so you do need to have access to Season of Opulence along with the Menagerie. You will have to complete an, a heroic Menagerie, and it is a random drop chance for getting the Izignagi's Burden Catalyst. So if you don't get it the first time, just continue to grind out those heroic Menageries with a fully masterworked Chalice of Opulence. Once you've done that, you're now going to have the Catalyst, and what you will have to do is get kills with Izignagi's Burden. I think it's 100 kills that you have to get it might be more the easiest way that you can get these is by one of two means one head to the leviathan and just kill all of the ads in the first room in the first encounter or you can visit the whisper of the worm heroic mission and drop down during the puzzle phase to where all of those taken thrall just keep coming at you that's honestly the best place for me to go for any of my catalyst masterworking once it's all said and done you're going to have your Yourself a lovely Izanagi's Burden exotic sniper rifle along with its catalyst. Hopefully you haven't grown old and withered and have white hair by the point of getting it done. One last tidbit of information before we wrap this video up though. At the time of this video, we're still seeing bugs with those drones actually counting towards getting the maximum temper to be able to get that chest in each of those forges. Bungie has announced that on its patch update coming this upcoming Tuesday during Festival of the Lost, that there will be a fix to these drones, along with the legendary frames that currently aren't working towards the Jotun and the Monarch. I wish you guys the best in luck in getting your own Izanagi's Burden. If this video has helped, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you've got any tips or suggestions to help other Guardians out, please go ahead and drop those in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Before you exit out of this video, be sure to hit that link up in the description below so you can join our Discord and join the Profane Nation. Until next time though, this has been Profane, and I wish you guys some happy hunting.